Hi guys, this is Gopi and welcome to unboxing of Archer A7 Wi-Fi router. As this is full gigabyte support with dual band. As mentioned, it can go up to 1300 Mbps at 5 gigahertz and 450 Mbps at 2.4 gigahertz. This is exclusively available on Amazon website at 3999 and on the box it has mentioned as 799 and it comes with 3 year warranty where you can register with tp link website and this is different from the archer c7 which is available in tp link website this is a7 which is amazon exclusive and let me unbox the contents and show you what are available inside the box there are one rj45 ethernet cable and a power adapter and wireless router archer a7 and quick installation guide and with small info card which mention the ssid archer a7 having special features that are quality of service it mean that it prioritizes your devices or applications to give faster performance whenever you need it and it also have ip tv support which mean that you can connect your computer wirelessly to the far devices like a fire stick or streaming devices through this wifi and it also have if triple t compatibility that you can control your router in voice command with amazon alexa and it also have parental control which can manage when and how the connected devices can share the internet if you want your kid to disconnect the internet after the 7 pm to the 6 am in the morning you can do it and it also have usb port which enables media sharing via external hard drive so if you connected with external hard drive you can send your data wirelessly it have quick wifi sharing means it can generate a qr code from tether app and you can quickly share your wifi with your guest it is ip version 6 compatible and coming to the specifications and build quality it is sturdy enough and it can withstand more than couple of years and it has three fixed antennas and on the back if you observe it has wps on off button 5 gigabit lan ports one usb port one power on off button and one power socket and a reset button and one premium feature which made to buy this devices it having the one mesh connectivity support it mean that you can have an range extender inside your home which is 2 bhk or 3 bhk on the third bedroom you can have the range extender and you can have the same speed which the main wifi router produces and the same speed at the range extender this is called mesh connectivity of the routers the proper design of this device will eliminate its overheating problem now connect this rj45 cable back side of your port and plug the power adapter into the wifi router by clicking a small power on off button on the back side of your router now the all lights will blink the blue port the internet cable should go inside that RJ45 cable which were connected to the PC should go into the orange port. After that, you can connect with your Wi-Fi by logging in this SSID and password, or you can choose the other way. Open your browser and type 192.168.1.1 and follow the procedure which I was showing inside the video. now log in with your password and after logging into the device just you have to press the next button and it will quickly set up your device 
only the thing is you can change your network name and password at the time of wireless settings that's it and click the save at end and it will set up the internet and it will pop out this congratulations network setup has successfully enjoy the internet and you can restart your device and if you want to change your wireless settings you can go into basic settings option and then you can go into wireless and you can change your network name and password and there's a smart connect option it means that you can choose wisely your 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band separately or you can connect it with one time that means that if your device is compatible with 5 gigahertz band it will directly connect into 5 gigahertz or if your smartphone or ipad is only compatible with 2.4 gigahertz and it will shift into 2.4 gigahertz and I'll, i prefer smart connect and on the advanced settings you can choose your guest network where you can allow your guest people to connect it and parental controls and check about the devices which I have explained before. Thank you.